In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the most common static stretches for your arms and your upper body. And I'll also give you some tips on how to get the best results from them. I've previously made videos about how to best do static stretches before a workout, after a workout, the common pitfalls, the benefits of it, as well as what a proper warm-up should look like. So if you're interested in any of that, have a look at the description of this video. I'll put links to that there. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mareka. I'm one of the physiotherapists from sportsinjuryphysio.com, where you can get online physiotherapy assessment as well as treatment for your injuries. Have a look at the description of this video if you want a link to our website. Now, to stretch the back of the shoulder, the deltoid, and a little bit of the rotator cuff even, what you do is you bring your arm across and you pull it to your chest. But now, can you see how my shoulder has come up? I don't feel much of a stretch here. If I keep my shoulder down and I do the same thing, immediately I feel more of a stretch. Same thing, if I'm gonna do it there, um, I can feel a different stretch than if I do it across there. So play with the position you stretch it at because it makes a difference to which part is being stretched. And it may be that if you do it like that, you feel nothing because it's not tight in that bit. But if you do it there, you feel a lot more. Be careful not to be too tough with it. Um, if you've got a lot of muscle tightness, then it's good to, to feel that stretch. If you're doing it and you can't get it, don't push harder and harder and harder. It just means that it's not gonna stretch in that position because it's got the range of movement it's got. So please don't push too hard with it. 30 seconds times three is usually fine, but see what works best for you. Now, to stretch the front chest muscles or your pectorials, you want to find a solid object that won't move that you can hook your arm around. So a door frame works well or a wall can work as well. You've got the pec major, pec minor, so depending on which position you place your arm, you're going to stretch one more than the other. So usually when the arm is straight out to the side, it's the pec minor that gets stretched more, and if the arm is slightly higher, it's going to be pec major more. So what you want to do is grab hold, or grab hold of a wall or just place your arm against the wall and twist your body away until you start to feel a gentle stretch in the front of your chest and just hold that position. Then when you come out of it, you can move your arm up to get the um, pec major and put it in that position. Now it's not an exact science, so place your arm where you feel the best stretch. You can also do it with your arm straight out to the back, but if you place your hand like this, you may feel a stretch all the way down the arm. And this is because you're also stretching your wrist and your forearm muscles and a little bit of the nerve that runs in the arm. So it's more of a full on stretch. If that's really uncomfortable, I'd rather go for the version where your elbow is actually bent. How long to hold a pec stretch for? Um, you can do it for about 20 to 30 seconds, but it's all gonna depend on how sensitive your shoulder feels. Um, so test shorter holds first, and then only do longer ones if you feel that that is comfortable. You can actually injure yourself if you overstretch. To stretch the biceps, you want to take your arms behind you. Now, the easiest way to do that is to just grab hold of your hands behind you, interlock your fingers, and then slowly lift your arms up as you bend forwards while you're doing it. So gravity helps to pull the arms up a bit. Now, don't force it and don't stay there for too long because I find that if you overstretch the bicep tendon at the top especially, it can start to hurt after a while. Now, if you find that position really difficult or hard, you can also do it with um, just placing a hand against a wall. But if you're doing it like that with the arm out to the, uh, straight to the side, it's best to put a fist against the wall because then you avoid the stretch on the forearm and you avoid the nervy stretch that one can get if you place a flat hand against the wall. So you place your fist against the wall and then you twist your body away to get that stretch in the, um, the biceps. How long to hold it for? If you're doing the one where you're pulling your arms up behind you, I would say go for shorter holds and more repetitions because you can actually make your biceps tendon feel painful if you hold it for too long. If you're doing the one on the wall, it's usually less intense and you can hold it for slightly longer, so 20 to 30 seconds at a time, but see what works best for you. Start with shorter holds rather than longer holds. To stretch your triceps as well as your latissimus dorsi, what you do is you reach behind your head and you place your hand um, just there on the top of your upper back. And you'll see my elbow is sticking out to the side a little bit. If yours sticks out to there, that's absolutely fine. You're just a bit stiff. So what you do then is you use your opposite hand 
to gently pull your elbow back and down. Now, remember, when you take your shoulder into that position, you're bringing everything closer to each other. So you can easily give yourself a compression injury if you're really forceful with it. So what that means is do not pull as hard as you can. You can't improve flexibility through force. You have to be gentle when you do it. So you're just taking it to where your range of movement allows you, and then you're using your other hand to gently help it along. Now, if you find yourself having to strain with your head down when you do that, because you're too stiff, this stretch may not be useful for you. So again, you want to hold it for anywhere between 20 to 30 seconds, take it out of the position, preferably do the other side that this side can rest a bit, and do about three repetitions on each side. Now, this stretch is a nice all-in-one stretch for your neck as well as your upper traps. So let's look at what to do here. First of all, if I want to stretch this side, I'm gonna sit on this hand. Why am I sitting on this hand? Because it stops my shoulder from coming up while I'm doing it. So I'm just remembering that I need to not lift that up. We're gonna take the, the head straight over to the side. So you, what you want to do is put your hand on your head on that side and just gently bring it over. Now, I am definitely not pulling very hard because yes, you're stretching your upper traps, but you're also stretching your, your neck and squashing things on there. So if you're gonna pull as hard as you can, you're really gonna hurt something. Um, now, if I bend like this and I sit like this while I'm doing it, I'm not feeling much of a stretch. If, however, I'm sitting nice and upright and then do it, I get much more of a stretch. Now, you can also adjust the stretch by turning your head slightly and pulling it like that then, or turning your head slightly like that and pulling it like that, and you'll get different parts of your neck. But you'll notice I'm not turning my head while I've got it in this position because it's very likely to just pinch things and make it sore when you try to do it while things are compressed. So you bring it out of the position before you turn your head and then you pull it back into the position. But really, you're not pulling it very for very long. Now, if you feel that it's stretching your neck more than your upper traps, it means your neck muscles are tighter than the upper traps. And in that case, I wouldn't hold the stretch for that long because often holding a neck stretch for too long can be quite irritating. So I'll probably go for 10 second holds and repeat it up to six times rather than a 30 second hold three times. But see what works best for you. To stretch the wrist flexors, you can do it in two ways. You can either have your palm facing up and straighten your elbow out and do it like that and pull down on your fingers. Be careful not to over pull on them. It may be better if you actually include your palm as well because if you're really flexible fingers, you can end up straining those joints. So rather take it all of it together to pull it down. Now for me, this gives me the best stretch, but you can also do it like this and pull it up this way. Now the reason the position of the hand affects it is because these muscles run from the inside of your elbow and if you change the position of your hand it affects the length of these muscles so test it for both ways and see what works best for you and for this one again good old 30 seconds times three times if you find 30 seconds is too much do it for less and i tend to do one arm then the other one arm then the other so that the one arm can rest a bit before you do the other side if you're doing this because you feel everything's getting tight and sore while you're working on the computer, actually what will give you more benefit in the long run is if you can add some sport into your life where you actually use these muscles in a way that improves the circulation and that's not just passive stretching. So something that can be really useful is swimming, for instance. Then if we want to stretch the wrist extensors, they run from this part of the elbow to the tips of the hand. You want to usually try and flex your hand so that you start stretching them over that, then bend it down and straighten out your elbow. So we've got it fully in that position. Now, again, you'll find that it will make a difference if you have your hand this way versus if you have your hand that way. So see what gives you the best stretch. But be careful that sometimes they are already flexible. Like I'm not feeling much of a stretch here. I'm rather feeling that if I pull too hard, I'm gonna injure my wrist. So remember, you can overstretch, so be careful and feel what you feel. If you're not getting a stretch when you do it, it means that although it feels uncomfortable, it has full range of motion and stretching it is not the way to go. 
So if that's the case, it may be that you actually benefit from strength exercises or something that improves the circulation in them and that will make them feel more comfortable in the long run. Or perhaps even using something like a massage gun or massage on it. How long to hold it for? 30 seconds should be fine. You can do it for, sh for shorter holds, do more repetitions, see what works for you. Brilliant. Hope you found this useful. And remember, if you need more help with an injury, you're welcome to consult one of the team via video call. The link to our website is in the description of this video. Take care.